Solutions for the third perfect problem for Math 211. The basic idea is to add, subtract, and multiply in Babylonian. So don't convert these into um, numbers you're more familiar with. Instead, work with these in their current symbols, in Babylonian. So what you need to know is in Babylonian, this is kind of your ones place, this is your 60s place, and this is your 3600s place. Uh, depending on, instead of 1s, 10s, and 100s like we do, they're in a base 60 system. So it's 1s, 60s, 3600s. And the other thing you need to know is that this less than sign is our equivalent of a 10. That is weird mathematically to write that. Um, and this weird upside down triangle looking thing is mathematically what we think of, is uh, what we think of as a 1. So what you're doing is you're saying, all right, here's one number right here. Here's the 1s digit, the 60s digit, and the 3600s digit, and you're adding that to this down here. Um, so what do you get? Well, what you can do is first if you, I mean, it's tempting to just take all these symbols and write them down here in the ones place, but just like if you were adding numbers, um, if you were adding 15 and 26, you'd add the 5 and the 6, but you wouldn't write 11. You'd write 1 and you'd carry the other one over. It's the same thing here. This will carry. Something here will carry because if I sum all these symbols, I get something bigger than 60. And the way I can prove that is first look at the ones. Um, I think I have 10 of these ones symbols right here. But I don't want to write 10 of the ones symbols because in Babylonian, when I have 10 of the ones symbols, I instead write one of the tens symbols. So I'm going to replace all of this with this. So this is now gone, and I have all this stuff. And so now I'm adding, I kind of have these two ones. That are just going to stay here in my ones column. Uh, but these six tens sum to 60. And 60, I don't want to leave in my ones column. I want to carry that over to my 60s column. How do I carry that over? You might think, oh, you should write a 60 over here. No. You might think you should write a 10 over here. No. You're going to write a 1 over here. Just like if you were adding whatever my example was earlier, 26 and 37 or something, uh, you get you add the 6 and the 7, and you get 13. And so you write the 3 down here, but you only carry 1 over. You don't carry 10 over, you carry 1 over. So I'm not going to carry 60 over or 10 over, I'm going to carry 1 over. And I'm going to sum here. Well, what's going to happen this time is I'm again going to have some idea of carry, because I have 60 here, and 60 60s is the same as 1, 3600. So these are going to carry over to this. And these symbols here are going to stay here. So what I'm left with in my 60s spot is 11, which in Babylonian I could kind of write like this. Uh, now i got to worry about my 3600s place. Well, nothing too interesting going on here because nothing carries. Uh, so I just take all this stuff and kind of add it down. I have two of these ones symbols. So maybe I'll just write those right next to each other. And then I have three of these, uh, what, less than symbols. Or uh, chevrons, I think those are. I don't know if that's true. That might not be true. Anyways, three of these symbols here. Uh, so I write those down. And then this right here would be my answer. Uh, then you move on, once you get the hang of addition, which maybe you have now, you move on to subtraction. It turns out that presents all sorts of other problems. Because when you're trying to subtract here, um, the first thing to notice is you have more ones down here than you have ones up here. So you have to kind of exchange this 10 for 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I have plenty of ones up here so I can subtract the ones that I have down here. So I'm going to do that by kind of crossing out. I'm going to subtract this one from this one. I'm going to subtract this one from this one. 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 Subtract this one maybe from this one. And subtract this one maybe from that one. And so I've subtracted everything. What I ever have left over which is exactly these guys right here, this is going to go down here. So I got eight of these guys. I'm not going to shade them all in because that would take me forever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Um, and then I'm going to move on to my next column. And in this column, I'm again going to have an issue with borrowing, but this time it's not between ones and tens, it's borrowing from this column. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I don't know how well these colors are coordinated, I'm going to take one thirty-six hundred, and I'm going to borrow from that over here, I'm going to turn that into six sixties. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I kind of borrowed all of these here because I could not subtract three from the two that I had of these tens in this 60s place. But now I can subtract them. Now I have enough to subtract. I kind of cancel out these guys, cancel out these guys, cancel out maybe those guys. And then what I would have left is just these, which I'll write down here. One, two, three, four, five. And then over here, there's not a whole lot to do because you're subtracting nothing. So I have one minus zero is just one. So this guy goes down here. Okay, uh, multiplication. I don't know how the heck you're gonna show your work in this one, but I guess I'll just kind of fight through it. Uh, I'm multiplying by this idea of 10. So really what that does when I multiply by 10 is it changes each of these guys these were ones, they're now all tens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each of these ones and I'm gonna move it down here, but instead of just writing them as ones, I'm gonna write them as tens. One, two, three, four, what did I have? One, two, three, four, five of them. Um, and then I'm gonna think about this one times this one. Uh, and that's gonna be a little bit challenging. Actually, I shouldn't have written those down there so quickly. So, because I'm going to have to carry. Well, okay, so I'll leave them down here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, but the problem is going to come when I take this 10 times this 10. I mean, 10 times 10 is 100, but how the hell am I going to write 100? Well, I guess I could write 100 as 10 of these symbols. So, okay, these guys turned into these guys. But this guy right here is gonna turn into 10 of these 10s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. But you don't wanna leave it like this, right? I don't wanna have this many 10s in this place. I'm gonna to wanna to take groups of six and carry them over to the next column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for groups of six. Uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's a group of six, and I'm gonna carry that guy over to here. And then I'm gonna look and see if I have another group of six. Well, sure I do, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll kind of wrangle these guys and put this right next to it. And so what I have left over are these three which are gonna kind of stay here in my final answer. One, two, three. So what I'm gonna do a lot like our multiplication algorithm is I'm gonna have sort of intermediate steps and put my answer way down here. So I sorted out all of these symbols. I've changed things where they need to be changed, but I still have to deal with these symbols. Well, one of them is pretty easy. Um, this one times this 10 is gonna give me a 10. So I can take this guy right here and change him into this guy here. Uh, but what about these guys? Well, this represents 20. And so for, well, how about think about it this way. Each one of these symbols has to turn into 10 of them when I multiply. So I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 from this one and another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 from this guy. So maybe I can circle the two of these and say that they turned into all of this mess. So what do I have to deal with here? What is my answer gonna look like? Well, let's deal with the ones first. I have these two single guys and they're just gonna float right on down here and be part of my answer. One, two. I don't want to carry over this enormous amount of tens that I have, 
And the reason I don't want to do that is because I have to carry over if I have groups of six. So here's a group of six, which I will carry over to the next column here as a one. And here is a group of six, which I will carry over to the next column as another one. And here's another group of six, Hit my last one, that I will carry over here as another one. So I have these three singles that came from those guys, and then what I have left behind are these three tens. So those will just work their way right down here. Let's circle these guys. Sort of my arrow diagrams are going a little bit crazy, but I'm just about done. Uh, one column left, this column over here. Well, I'm taking a one and multiplying it by a 10, so that changes this, gets back to red for some reason, changes into a 10. And then all I have to do is look at all this stuff. One ten and three ones, nothing carries, nothing joins together. So I can put that down here as three ones and a 10. And so my final answer would be this thing here. Kind of got jumbled up at the end, but this many ones, this many 60s, and this many 3600s. Wow, all right, I'm done with this.